91.7 WNECFM in Henniker, New Hampshire. The Bluegrass Cardinals there. Dig a hole in the meadow. Going back to the Tennessee Mountain Bluegrass Festival CD. Sam Hill also in that set doing an instrumental from their new CD called Haunted by a Memory. You heard Kick It Off already. And a couple in there from Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver going out to Candy's mom. Brenda, she's out there. She's in the chat room now, too. She's got it all figured out. Wait till we tell Candy. <laughs> it's great to have you in there. We heard uh, In the Gravel Yard, and uh, before that we had Falling, Falling, Falling. Go all, Both of them going back to Never Walk Away, and uh, that's where we started the set. Got about another 20, 25 minutes left to the show, so get those last-minute bluegrass requests in. As always, we'll, uh, I'll leave it up for a few minutes afterwards while I'm cleaning house here. And we'll throw a CD on or something. So uh, you folks, don't uh, click off when you hear the sign-off tonight. The folks at home, though, listening on the airwaves will, uh, will miss out on that. But, uh, you know, that's how it goes. Turn on your computers. <laughs> Have a request out there for some James King. James King. So we're going to go back to a few years to the Lonesome and Then Some album. Came out in 1995 on Rounder Records. This is The Wall. <laughs> Monroe Brothers there for you folks. 91.7 WNECFM in Henniker, New Hampshire. I'm taking that one from uh, the Rounder uh, Volume 1 that came out, Monroe Brothers stuff. Uh, title cut, actually, the way they have it set up here. Uh, they put it out last year. I wonder when they're going to put out more of that. That's uh, great stuff. Going out to a uh, whole bunch of you out in the chat room there. Had my pal Carrie Fridley doing Down the Road there from her new CD, Neighbor Girl. She's the uh, former lead singer from the Freight Hoppers, and uh, great stuff. Also there, we had the new Grass Revival out by request, and we heard You're the Best Friend That I've Known, going back to the On the Boulevard album. Uh, James King to start the set, and we heard The Wall from that album, Lonesome, and then some. That's where we left you off. About another 10 minutes, we're going to try and squeeze in a couple few more requests here that I have lined up already. Hopefully get uh, some Eddie and Martha Adcock, some Gillis Brothers, and uh, whatever else we can fit in there. I'm going to play one because I want to hear it first, though. I was at a flea market. It's actually warm enough for flea markets around here last weekend. And uh, whenever I see a stack of 78s, I always start flipping through them, hoping I'm going to find some really great old stuff. But up in this neck of the woods, you'll hardly ever find even old country music. You, you don't find bluegrass music either. Uh, I've been told you can find them down south. I don't know, is that true, you guys down that way? Um, but anyway, yeah, all you find up here are you know, classical, big band, maybe a few jazz things on 78. But I found one guy this week, last weekend had a whole stack of stuff. I got some Bob Wills 78s, and I got uh, like three Roy Acuff 78s, including this song here. This is uh, not from that 78, though. I don't have anything to play it on presently, but uh, uh, this is uh, the original version, I guess, here. And uh, they have sort of an outtake at the beginning of it. This is from the Essential Roy A. Cuff, 1936 to 1949, from Columbia. And uh, Freight Train Blues. <laughs> All right, chat room people, figure out what you want me to play as we uh, head on down the road. Here's your Gillis Factor. Mm -hmm. 